Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Young and the Restless Spoilers, Jack and Victor's feud ends in a life or death emergency and deep regret. The rivals have decades of bad blood, but will their latest head-to-head -head end in unintended consequences? On The Young and the Restless, the decades-long feud between Jack, Peter Bergman, and Victor Eric Braden is perhaps the greatest in soap history. Their scorched-earth approach to battle often shakes up all of Genoa City and leaves members of the Abbott and Newman families as collateral damage. It's because we've seen this movie before between the two most powerful men in town that we're fairly certain this latest round of conflict isn't going to end well. Beyond just the history of the duo, our hunch about the disaster that's coming stems from knowledge of Jack's past year. Loyal viewers know that he hasn't had the easiest go of it when it comes to his family. Ashley Eileen Davidson suffered for months due to a mental health struggle. Harrison Redding Munsell was kidnapped by the deranged villain Jordan Colleen Zink. And now Kyle Michael Miller is treating Jack and Diane Susan Walters as if they're monsters. Additionally, Jack had to watch his best friend spiral out of control as Nikki. Melody Thomas Scott, wrestled with alcohol addiction. As fans know, that got so bad that it ended with him purposefully falling in his own sobriety with pills and nearly dying. Diane was almost ready to leave him for his misguided sacrifice to save the Newman matriarch. With all that being said, will Victor's latest attack prove to be one crisis too many for Jack to handle? Could Jack soon succumb to all the stress and fully give in to his pill addiction? Or worse, could he have a heart attack? Unlike many of the previous dust-ups between Jack and Victor, this new one involves Kyle. Although Victor didn't cause the rift between Kyle and Jack, the mustache has exploited by stroking Kyle's ego and then hiring Kyle as the co-CEO of Glissade. In the Young and the Restless episode airing on July 8, Kyle tells his father that he's not only working for Jabbit's competition, but he also shares his desire to destroy his family legacy. Jack looks both disappointed and infuriated, and he doesn't even know yet that Victor now owns Glissade. We can only imagine when he gets the full picture, he'll explode. Now we don't think the medical emergency will occur immediately when Jack discovers Victor's role in hiring Kyle at Glissade. We believe Kyle will launch a few attacks at Jabbit first and officially move him and Harrison out of the Abbott mansion before that happens. Should our theory become reality and Jack finds himself suffering from a medical emergency at that point, then it's likely Kyle will get a much-needed wake-up call. If Jack winds up in a hospital bed due to his relapsing or having a heart attack, Kyle would probably take on a lot of guilt for his father's condition, regretting his actions. While it's possible Diane would attempt to alleviate her son's guilt, it's easy to see Billy, Jason Thompson, piling on Kyle and hurling insults at his nephew for how he treated the Abbott patriarch. Jack would probably pull through a health episode, so is there a reconciliation between father and son in the future? On a final note, if Jack does face an emergency because of Victor's latest need for revenge, you can bet that Nikki would be beyond furious and perhaps ready to divorce the love of her life, again. In the affluent town of Geno City, Power struggles and heated rivalries were nothing new, but the feud between Jack Abbott and Victor Newman had reached a boiling point. Their decades-long animosity had seen many battles, none as intense as the latest corporate war over Jabbott and Newman Enterprises. The stakes were higher than ever and the consequences more severe. It began with an audacious move from Victor, who launched a hostile takeover bid for Jabbott. Jack, fiercely protective of his family's legacy, retaliated with a counter-strike, attempting to dismantle Newman Enterprises from within. The town buzzed with gossip and speculation as the two titans of industry locked horns, each determined to emerge victorious. But amidst the cutthroat corporate maneuvers, an unexpected and catastrophic event loomed on the horizon. It was a sunny afternoon when Genoa City was struck by a massive power outage, plunging the city into chaos. The power grid failure, later discovered to be a result of cyber sabotage, left hospitals, homes, and businesses in darkness. 
Among the hardest hit was the Genoa City Memorial Hospital, where life-saving equipment flickered and failed. Victor Ever the strategist suspected Jack's involvement in the sabotage, believing it to be a desperate attempt to gain the upper hand. Fueled by rage he stormed into the Jabot offices, demanding answers. Jack, equally convinced that Victor was behind the attack, met him with defiance. You've gone too far this time, Victor. Jack shouted, his face flushed with anger. People's lives are at stake. And you think I would stoop to this level, Jack? Victor retorted, his voice cold and menacing. You're the one who's desperate, not me. Their argument escalated, each hurling accusations and insults, oblivious to the world around them. It was then that a panicked call came through. Ashley Abbott, Jack's sister, was in the hospital, her life hanging by a thread, due to the power outage. She had been undergoing a critical procedure when the power failed and now her survival depended on restoring the electricity. Jack's heart sank. His feud with Victor suddenly seemed trivial in the face of his sister's life. Without a word he pushed past Victor and raced to the hospital. Victor, witnessing Jack's genuine distress, felt a pang of doubt. Could it be possible that neither of them was responsible for this catastrophe? At the hospital, chaos reigned. Doctors and nurses worked frantically to keep patients stable, using manual equipment and sheer willpower. Jack found Ashley's room and saw her pale, unconscious form. He gripped her hand, tears welling in his eyes. Hang in there, Ashley, he whispered. I'm going to fix this. Victor arrived shortly after, his stern facade replaced by a rare look of concern. He approached Jack who was pacing the corridor outside Ashley's room. Jack, we need to find out who did this, Victor said, his voice uncharacteristically soft. For Ashley's sake and for everyone else in this hospital. Jack nodded, the weight of their rivalry lifting, if only for a moment. Agreed, but we need to act fast. Combining their resources and contacts, Jack and Victor delved into the cause of the power outage. They discovered that a rogue hacker, with no allegiance to either of them, had orchestrated the attack as part of a larger scheme to destabilize the city's infrastructure. Armed with this knowledge, they worked together, reaching out to authorities and cybersecurity experts to neutralize the threat and restore power. As the minutes ticked by, Jack and Victor found themselves in a race against time. The hospital's backup generators were failing, and Ashley's condition was deteriorating. In a rare display of camaraderie, the two rivals coordinated their efforts, bypassing bureaucratic red tape to expedite the repairs. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, the lights flickered back on, and the hum of machinery filled the hospital. Medical teams rushed to stabilize patients and a sense of hope returned to Genoa City Memorial. Jack stood by Ashley's side, relief washing over him as her vital signs improved. Victor watched from the doorway, a contemplative look on his face. For once, the satisfaction of victory eluded him. Instead, he felt a profound sense of regret for the years of bitterness and hatred that had led them to this point. He approached Jack, extending a hand. We did it, Jack. Together, Victor said, his voice heavy with emotion. Jack hesitated for a moment before shaking Victor's hand. Yes, we did. Maybe it's time we put this feud behind us. Victor nodded, a rare smile tugging at his lips. For Ashley and for our families. It's time. The weeks that followed saw a transformation in Genoa City. Jack and Victor, once bitter enemies, began to collaborate on various initiatives to strengthen the community and ensure such a disaster would never happen again.